Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. And good morning to you. It is 825 Scott and Pete. And on the phone with us, it's our monthly Bristol uh, Bristol Community College segment. And on the phone, President Laura L. Douglas is joining us. Good morning, President. Good morning. It's great to be with you this morning. Great to be with you. I hope you had a a wonderful weekend. So uh, somebody made a big announcement this past week that somebody is you. Mm -hmm. That's right. I did. And I have announced that I will be retiring next year from Bristol Community College. Mm. I have so enjoyed uh, my leadership role here, and uh, it's a fantastic college, and I love our communities. Uh, But, you know, I've turned a certain age that uh, uh, now (laughs) I'm ready to do some traveling, have some fun, uh, and the college is in great shape and ready to attract, I know, our next great leader, number five. Yeah, there's been a lot of of enrollment growth uh, over the years, uh, the time that you've served, and that you expect that to continue in the future, I would imagine. I sure do. Our uh, positioning has been uh, really strong. Uh, We have great relationships with our four-year institutions for transfer, especially UMass Dartmouth and Bridgewater State University. It makes it so easy for our students to transfer. And uh, a lot of really uh, wonderful academic programs and certificates. You know, now it's not just about uh, a two-year degree or a four-year degree, but micro-credentials that help get people into great jobs right away, like in cyber security. So uh, we have a lot of options for students as students that's really driving our enrollment. Now, uh, President uh, Douglas, I noticed that uh, you've had a 40 year career in education. I'm sure you've seen a number of changes in those years. But what, what are some of the, the highlights? What What's really stood out for you over the years? Well, you know, I love being a community college leader, and a lot of people, you know, wonder why someone would go into community college leadership, and it's really the opportunity to help those who um, are first in their families to go to college, typically. Not all of our students are first in their families, but many are, and it's really that gateway into college life and the start of uh, of families understanding that they can go to college, they can do very well, it is affordable. I think I think one of our one of my great successes here at Bristol Community College has been very focused on cost and making college as affordable as possible for students. So our tuition and fees are, are we always are very deliberate uh, in setting those fees. And um, 68% of all of our graduates uh, finish Bristol without any debt. So that's zero debt, 68%. Wow. So we have scholarships. We have a very strong foundation. Uh, uh, the former president, uh, Eileen Farley, uh, started our foundation. And uh, then uh, number three, Jack Spraga built on top of that. Uh, and now, of course, we've been adding to that. Uh, and that really helps students. Plus, we do a lot of work with basic needs. So if a student maybe gets financial aid and uh, uh, still has some needs, maybe with food or electricity or paying a bill or transportation, uh, we we really work hard to make that all happen. And it's a very different way of looking at supporting college. Um, but the truth is that the federal financial aid has really decreased over the years, making it much more challenging for students to afford college. So uh, we have built in all these layers uh, of support. So for anyone who's out there listening, I just want to say that if you haven't thought about going to college or if you think it's too expensive. You need to rethink uh, your hypothesis and uh, check out Bristol Community College because many find out that college is really free. President Douglas, all right, now for the real important question here. What are some of the uh, destinations on your travel list? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, my husband and I lived in Asia for, for quite wow, a few years. Really? So we want to go back to Japan and Thailand. I uh, worked with Cambodian refugees in Thailand, and I want to go back to uh, Cambodia 
the refugee camp that I worked in is now closed. It's been closed for some time, but there's a museum there, and I have some artifacts that I want to bring uh, for that museum. Uh, so those are definitely uh, on the list. Wow. Um, so uh, probably one of the first trips will be Asia. Uh, but, you know, I'm also part Greek. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I love Greece, and I am also interested in uh, uh, parts of Italy and uh, and also Mongolia. That's another place that I really want to go. I've never, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool to stay in a yurt and, you know, (laughs) ride horses across the the Mongolian landscape. For sure. (laughs) Yeah. So do it while I, while I can, right? Exactly. Well, you've worked hard for a lot of years and now you're, you're entitled to a lot of fun. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, President Douglas. Appreciate your time and uh, happy retirement to you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.